On the bottom shelf, I saw this ceramic turkey. It was a Holland mold piece for $2.99. is a busy Tuesday for me. I have my first post-op appointment for physical therapy, which I'm looking forward to. I have pretty good motion with my arm so far, but the physical therapy will help me get a full range of motion. I'm looking forward to that. But before I go to that appointment, I am going to go into a thrift store to see what I can find to flip online. I am at Volunteers of America thrift store. It has been probably, I think, a year or more since I've been to this location. Not sure why I haven't come back to it. I guess I keep hitting up other thrift stores and I found some new to me thrift stores and I keep going to those. But let's go in and see what I can find. Right away, I noticed things have changed. They have three colors of the week. Blue, 25% off. Red, 50% off. And yellow, 75% off. This store is quite large and they do sell a lot of clothes, but today I'm looking for hard goods. You never know what you might find in the frame mile. I always check it out. The music was super, super loud, so I'm going to do a voiceover. This frame was orange tag, $2.52, so no discount on that, but that's still a really good price. This is a lead crystal frame, and it's the first item in my cart. They have a nice selection of furniture today, but it's not something I need at the moment. This little planter with the shamrocks on it caught my eye, but what I didn't notice was those hand-painted garden tools in the background. I'm always on the lookout for holiday decor. I'm showing you right there that that has a big giant crack in it. I was checking out this pair of ice skates. They were $6.06, .06, red tagged 50% off, but I need a size 9 and these were a size 8. I saw this turkey on the bottom shelf. I love it. Love the colors of it. It's $2.99. Holland mold, so this was done in a hobbyist like ceramics class. It has a big giant chip right there on the beak, and I also think it's missing its lid. I'm sure you recognize that Christmas tree pattern. That is the Spode Christmas tree. This is a little tea light lamp. They sell for around $30 on eBay, so this is not coming home with me. I went over to the Christmas aisle and the first thing I saw were these little cordial glasses. It says Packard 1899 with the old fashioned car and the woman on it. Now there's no price on this one. It just says two of six, which I see there's six glasses there. So you got to find the first one that says one of six. So it's six dollars and six cents for six glasses. These are definitely going in the cart. I just love them. They are just perfect for the holidays. Love the red trim on them. I have never seen anything like this before. Stay tuned for the haul at the end of the video. The next item I found was this poinsettia plate. I found it right back there. I just love it that it's just one big giant flower. It's Majolica. It's kind of orangish color. It's made in Japan. It's definitely vintage. It's $3.99. I'm going to put it in my cart for now and think about it. Up on this shelf, there is just a ton of Christmas glasses, the goblets, the drinking glasses, mugs. The shorter cordial ones. These are the ones from Arby's with the holly decoration on them. I'd like to get a couple of these for my booth. I just want to make sure that the gold rims are good.
it's one dollar and one cent these over here were kind of cute there was a set of four for 3.99 but a lot of the gold rim is missing off of them i saw this snowman chip and dip serving set back here i thought it was kind of cute it's made by false graph they wanted 4.99 for it but i could not find any comps for this on ebay at all it's a bit overwhelming looking through all of these christmas mugs you're trying to look for something special and i think i might have just found it look at that christmas tree on that one let me get it off the hook I'm trying to get my camera to focus and it is spooed i'm looking for a price i don't see a price on it i'm going to put it in the cart and find out how much these mugs are this store always separates out their christmas coffee mugs and puts them all together in a display like this and the rest of the coffee mugs are in another area these are my two bags of goodies i am back in the car but i definitely have to get back in there i ran out of time and it's really bumming me out because there was so much more to look at and and search through but I have to make my PT appointment and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that there will be a haul at the end of this video and then I'll tell you how much I spent all together especially if I come back and get more let's go over what I got from volunteers of America thrift store the first thing I saw and put in the cart were these cups actually that's not true i think i put a frame in my cart first i'll show that to you in a second uh so these were it it's funny so on the bottom it says like four of four of six and you have to find the one you have to look at all of them to find the price okay there it is so it was six dollars and six cents which is ironic <laughs> they have to get that extra penny in there on each one uh, for this set of six cordial glasses it says Packard 1889 I just love the graphics on this and the red trim these are actually made by Libby and I have never seen them before but looking online a lot of other people are finding them and selling them so I can't wait to get these up onto eBay and Etsy I would expect to get somewhere between $20 to $25 for this set of six. So this was actually the item that I put first into my cart. This is a 24% lead crystal picture frame it is Shannon crystal let me see if I can get this around so you can see it it does say handcrafted China but it says designs of Ireland and uh, some of the frames and this one in particular it's kind of like all over the place if I was to sell it someone put it up on auction and only sold it for four dollars but somebody else sold it for um, I think it was twenty dollars free shipping so there's a little bit of value in this but I'm actually keeping this for myself I just love getting um, what would normally be an expensive very nice frame for very little at the thrift store I paid two dollars and fifty two cents for it so I'm pretty happy with this. I had to take a break while filming my haul, but now it is raining out. So that's what you're gonna hear in the background, but I only have two more items to go. So on the wall of mugs, which I'll drop a little picture in here of that,
was this mug. It was hard to see with all of those Christmas mugs. They do that in the store. They separate the regular mugs from the Christmas ones and they put them all together, which is kind of nice. Now, I would have loved to find a whole set of these, like, but I only found one and I kept looking and looking. It was really hard <laughs> to see through all those Christmas mugs. Oh, that's Lola in the background. So this is, let me turn it the other way so you can see. This is Spode, which the handle was what caught my eye and the Christmas tree. I'm like, I'm looking at the Christmas tree and I'm like, that looks like it might be a, and sure enough, it was a Spode. And this is the peppermint one. Let me put this down a second. And they don't necessarily go for a lot by themselves. It's nice to have like, you know, a set of four or something like that. But It'll sell between ten and twelve dollars plus shipping. Oh, didn't even say what I paid for it. Wow, it's starting to really come down now. <laughs> so I, these were ninety cents, and usually in this store, if it is not marked, they will not sell it to you. They will, however, if somebody's there to price it, they will send the item back in the back, price it, and it'll come back out. And if you still want it, they will sell it to you. But in this case. All of the mugs on that mall, on the wall, I should say, were 90 cents. <laughs> I got it. Man, it is really coming down now. <laughs> I love having this little porch, and I am still going to try to be outside as long as possible because the cold weather here in Michigan is going to, like, drive me inside, and I won't be able to enjoy the outside as much. There was an entire shelf of Christmas glasses. I was looking for ones that had more red in them, but I do like these. These are the vintage Arby's ones with the holly on them. Sorry for the truck backing up. <laughs> It'll be gone in a second. Uh, so anyways, uh, I got these for my booth because I needed Christmas items for that. Although these do sell online if you find them um, it's something you can put up on eBay and uh, you'll be able to sell. Uh, the prices were different for the glasses. This one had an orange tag for a dollar and a penny. And then this one had a red tag for a dollar and a penny. But the red tags were 50% off. And see that barcode there? You don't have to worry about whether or not the cashier is going to ring it up correctly because the barcode automatically knew that that one was 50% off. So I paid roughly a dollar 51 or dollar 52 for both glasses. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure. I, I'm always not sure what to put the price up for my booth. Cause sometimes the things in my booth, I don't price as high as I do on eBay. Cause on eBay, I am always running sales or making offers, things like that. I do run sales in my booth too. So, um, I'm not sure what I'll get for these, but I just wanted to add these um, along with anything else I find in that Christmas. I'm doing fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, all of that. You know, it is the season, right? <laughs> so those are the items that I'm looking forward to, to stock my booth with. The last item in my haul is this plate. It's a poinsettia. I just love that. Let me show the edge of it to you in the center. It's just so nice looking. It says Japan and I paid $3.99 for it and I got it to put directly in my booth. In pricing them out on eBay, people had them up around that $20 range, but none of them were sold. Again, I think it's because people are starting to list all of their Christmas items and um, people will start to buy them here, you know, either after Halloween or around that time frame and November into December. Uh, so in something like this, I probably would not put it in my booth for that price, probably more in that $12 to $15 range.
I can't wait to get back to Volunteers of America. I just loved the inventory I was seeing and how they had everything priced and displayed. Hopefully you enjoyed the thrift with me and the mini haul. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. I love reading your comments.